story to tell. The Indian Army will receive the first S-400 Tram air defense system later this year. Although India has requested early delivery of S-400 complexes due to tensions with China, but Russia was unable to do so because of many limitations related to production and technology. India is also in the process of forming two squadrons of Rafale fighters from France under a deal worth 7.8 billion euros in 2016. Rafale, like the S-400, are known as a game changers for India, ahead of two old rivals, China and Pakistan. The S-400 air defense system is considered one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world today. India and Russia reached a $5.43 billion deal in 2018 in New Delhi to secure the country's long-term security needs. On the other hand, the deal to buy Rafale fighters created a controversy in India. The Indian government cut too much on the initial order in the medium mountain combat aircraft MMRCA program in 2016, reduced from 126 to 36 units. Why did India reduce the number of fighters by 71% under the MMRCA program? The reason is that each Rafale has an exorbitant price of $241 million per unit. So India cannot have enough resources to buy enough aircraft as planned. The Indian opposition alleges that the cost per Rafale has doubled compared to the original deal. It is even more expensive than the US F-22, while not outperforming the Russian Su-30 Mark I fighter. Recent popular comparisons between the Rafale and the S-400 which weapon could be a game changer for India, especially in the potential conflict with Pakistan and China? Nitin J. Tiku, a strategic analyst for the Eurasian Times, said that the S-400 from Russia could be the first choice as India's savior, rather than the 36th Rafale aircraft. With a detection range of up to 600 kilometers, the S-400 will soon detect aircraft or missiles from Pakistani airspace. With high mobility, the S-400 can be ready to activate in minutes to carry out an interception. All of the S-400's radars, missiles, and launchers are integrated on specialized 8x8 off-road trucks, making them difficult to track and destroy. Thanks to its high mobility, the Indian Army can position the battlefield on many different terrains of the country. Equipped with the 92N6E Active electronically scan array radar, the S-400 can detect 300 targets at a range of more than 600 kilometers, and simultaneously guide four types of missiles based on threat and range. An S-400 battery 
consists of long-range reconnaissance radar, a command vehicle, a target acquisition radar, and two battalions of launchers, each with four missiles. The loading after launch is very quick. The deal between India and Russia worth about $5.4 billion includes five S-400 regiments, each consisting of four battalions. Each battalion is equipped with nine launchers and 120 missiles. The S-400 system uses a variety of missiles. The first is 48N6DM, which is an upgraded version of 48N6M with a powerful propulsion system with a range of 250 km. It also uses missiles of the previous S-300 PMU system currently in service with the Indian Army. The longest range missile of the S-400 system is the 40N6 with a range of up to 400 km. The missile uses active radar guidance, which can intercept air targets at very long ranges. Its targets are mainly super jamming aircraft, such as J-STARS, AWACS, EA-6B, or even enemy aerial refueling planes. With the 9M96E and 9M96E2 medium-range surface to air missiles, the S-400 can hit air targets with high accuracy at a maximum range of 120 km. The use of many types of missiles helps the S-400 cover the entire range of air defenses, but save costs. My video about Indian S-400 and Rafael Ansir. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.